Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Chef Stoney from Century House in downtown Woodstock. It's been a couple weeks since we were able to put out anything. We've been working really hard and getting the restaurant back up and running. But today, I would like to show you one of my favorite recipes in the restaurant with a little twist is our pimento cheese. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is roast off our red bell pepper. All right, now that you've fire roasted your red pepper, we're gonna put that into a bowl and wrap it with some cling film to let it sweat so all that skin can just wipe right off. Now that our red pepper has sweated off, it's time to remove the skin and dice it up. There's a couple different ways to do this, uh, but it, they're all gonna be messy. I usually take the tip of my knife and just gently scrape off all of the black burned skin. Work your way around the bell pepper, getting all of the burnt skin off. So now we're gonna take the top off. Now I like to make a nice little slice and pull him open. So it makes it easier to get all the seeds. And just use your hand for this part. Tear him straight in half so we got two equal parts for an easy dice. If you don't get everything off with the knife, I'm gonna go over to my sink and just rinse off any of the rest of the burned skin. Now we have our peppers nice and cleaned and ready to dice. It should probably be about a cup of diced red bell peppers. You will need roasted red pepper, 8 ounces cream cheese, and one 16 ounce bag of shredded cheddar cheese. And there you have our pimento cheese. The best thing about this recipe is you can have it nice and cold, so it's spreadable, or you can put it in a pan and heat it up and have it dippable. Pimento cheese, two different ways. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, share with your friends, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.